October is pretty much over, but there is still time to catch some scares in Gary's mod. So I have selected some of my favorite horror mods to show you guys. And I have to start our list with Lucia's maps. Lucia has been making some haunted versions of some Gmod maps. Last year I tricked my dear friend Ely into thinking Gary's mod was cursed using one of the first cursed maps by Lucia. I'm a very good friend, you can tell. Bro, what if it's the dog spawning this? <laughs> Since then, Lucia has made a lot of new maps. And now it's even easier to trick your friends if you want to do that. But even if you bring a friend and tell him, it's still fun to explore the map. Surely you will find something interesting. Next up, we have the Cryofear SNPCs. Uh, I will tell they are a little loud. Some of them will scream when they find you. But they are very well done and I feel like they match Gmod very well. And next up, we have the shadow guy next bot. This one was clearly inspired by Lucia's maps. And what it does is that as soon as you spawn him, he will teleport away and start to stalk you through the map. With this, any map you have will become cursed. Now, this one and the haunted maps don't cancel each other. It might be the same thing on paper, but they are very different. Both mods are still relevant on their own. You should still try both of them. Next up, we have the Left 4 Dead NPCs. This mod has all the common infected NPCs from Left 4 Dead. You can spawn them individually or go to any map and spawn the AI director. This will turn any map into a left for dead map with zombies everywhere. Next up, we have the Tyrant NPC from the Resident Evil 2 Remake. This one is also very well done, with custom animations and everything. If this guy sees you in the map, good luck. Now the slasher film NPCs. These guys are based on the Dead by Daylight version of the killers. They come with custom music, custom animations, everything from the game. And next we have the Asylum map from Cry of Fear. I will not say much about it because it will take a big part in our next mod. And that is the Zombie Invasion mod. Which is a mod that can do a lot more than it seems. Combining this with some of the mods we talked about previously, I have created the scariest experience in Gary's mod that I have ever had. And now I'll teach you how to do it. The very original upload is no longer in the workshop, so I will link a re-upload. But anyway, this is how you do it. First, you go to a map like the Cry of Fear Asylum. 
You can do this in any map that has a nav mesh for the NPCs to navigate. For this one I recommend the Asylum. Now get yourself a weapon, nothing too overpowered. Next we are gonna choose an NPC. In this case I will take the slower NPC from the Cryofear pack. This will work with uh, any NPC you have. So you copy the name of the NPC like this, then you open the spawn menu, go to options and go to ZINV, go to settings and spawn editor. Make sure the list is clear, this time we'll only use one NPC. We have a few settings here. First, for health, you can leave it at minus one. It's the default, we don't have to mess with that. And the rest, you can leave it just like the video. Now, on the name of the NPC, we will paste what we copied before. Add it to the list, make sure everything is as we selected. All looks good and as soon as we enable what will happen is the mod will select a random spot on the map where we are not looking so we don't know where he will spawn but he will be out there since we selected the roamer in one of the settings he will be just roaming around the map looking for us but he doesn't know where we are because he hasn't seen us yet and it's only fair that we don't know where he is either. So now we know he's in there. Our weapon is loaded, so let's go in and see who finds who first. As you can see, with these mods combined, we have a very fun sandbox to play with. There is a lot of things we can do with it, but I'll leave these ideas for you. So have fun guys, I'll see you next time.